Yes. How was your meeting, Adam? Oh, irritating. Foreign Policy Association. I read that fellow's report. Standish, yes. I think he's full of prunes. Well, that's the way we used to talk in the 1930s, Noah. Standish? The uh, London Times man of Berlin. Yes, of course, he was quoting rumors mostly. Men drilling by night, uh, underground meeting places, pagan rituals. Do you believe him, Paul? <laughs> well, anything's possible. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I think it's ridiculous. Huh? Well, there may be some fanatics, but no German in his right mind can still have a taste for war. Do you know Germany, Mr. Rankin? <laughs> I'm sorry, I... I have a way of making enemies when I'm on that subject. I get pretty unpopular. <laughs> well, we shall consider it the objective opinion of an objective historian. Historian? A psychiatrist could explain it better. The German sees himself as the innocent victim of world envy and hatred conspired against, set upon by inferior peoples, inferior nations. He cannot admit to error, much less to wrongdoing. Not the German. We chose to ignore Ethiopia and Spain, but we learned from our casualty list the price of looking the other way. Men of truth everywhere have come to know for whom the bell tolled, but not the German. He still follows his warrior gods. Marching to Wagnerian strains, his eyes still fixed upon the fiery sword of Siegfried. And in those subterranean meeting places that you don't believe in, the German's dream world comes alive and he takes his place in shining armor beneath the banners of the Teutonic Knights. Mankind is waiting for the Messiah, but for the German, the Messiah is not the Prince of Peace. He's another Barbarossa. Another Hitler. Well, then you, uh, you have no faith in the reforms that are being effected in Germany. Well, I don't know, Mr. Wilson. I, I can't believe that people can be reformed except from within. The basic principles of equality and freedom never have, never will take root in Germany. The will to freedom has been voiced in every other tongue. All men are created equal, liberté, égalité, fraternité, but... In German, there's Marx. Proletarians unite, you have nothing to lose but your chains. But Marx wasn't a German, Marx was a Jew. But my dear Charles, if we concede your argument, there is no solution. Well, sir, once again, I differ. Well, what is it then? Annihilation. Down to the last babe in arms. Oh, Charles, I can't imagine you're advocating a Carthaginian peace. Well, as an historian, I must remind you that the world hasn't had much trouble from Carthage in the past 2,000 years. Oh, well, there speaks our pedagogue. Uh, speaking of teachers, Mr. Wilson. Oh, yes, yes. The faculty is coming for tea next Tuesday. If you have nothing better to do, would you like to join us? Uh, I'd like to, but uh, my work here is finished. I'm leaving Harper tomorrow. <laughs> 